Happy premiere day! Happy premiere day! Happy red carpet day! You look so good. I'm so excited to see Oh my god. Alright, things are happening. Mitchell just got here to do my hair. Oh my god. So excited. We decided to do an updo and then the working gals over here. I'm just so impressed. Just so much happening. I love it. Okay guys, we just got sweet green. This is what I got. Seb's in the chair now. It's looking so good. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Okay, Seb's back there doing hair. I'm doing my makeup. I'm literally looking at the lens. I'm not looking at my makeup because I want to see it at the end. Kat's here. Hello, hello. Brooke's back. Brooke's back, baby. Brooke's back, baby. And Grace is over there. She's styling me for this event. Steaming the beautiful dress. So cute. Oh, Forker is right there. Ah! looking good things are happening guys makeup is done i'm so obsessed cat thank you <laughs> so good all right yeah, about to leave chaos love it alicia's here now ready. too Woo! i'm so excited wait i have to show you guys like the full fit here okay dress is two bodies hair so mitchell good. makeup cat got all fun accessories guys look at these rings this is from the brand emma pills it moves with your finger so beautiful and then this one this is a beautiful baguette ring and then i'm wearing steve madden heels and a fun clutch sitting over there. She's got a good little seat. Um, look who it is. Got the girl. I'm so excited. <laughs> guys we just got back holy guacamole that movie was so good we were all so shook like i think i just went in with like i didn't really have any expectations the movie was seriously amazing like i'm not just saying this I'm not being paid to say this i truly enjoyed it we seriously like after the movie on our bus to the after party which was like 30 minute ride we all were just sitting there unpacking everything talking about it when you get the chance to go see the movie i highly suggest it it is it really like makes you think about your life too and like reality and everything i don't know it was really really amazing it was a little bit of a bummer because the rain hindered the red carpet of it all so they had to move the carpet inside especially we were supposed to walk the carpet and then the you know the cast were supposed to walk the carpet after but since the rain kind of hindered everything and they had to put the carpet inside by the time it was time for by the time we got there and the carpet was in it was time for like the cast to walk so like obviously they get priority and like they had to start the movie at whatever time um so that kind of sucked because like we got all glam and stuff but it still felt really nice to be all dressed up and the movie was amazing and they gave us popcorn and water which was just awesome 
and the cast came out in the beginning and they chatted and they did like a little Q and A, talked about the movie a little. Then the movie started and then they took us to an after party and we weren't sure to, what to expect because when I went to the Batman premiere, there was like an after party. But it was just kind of like the other influencers that I knew that were gonna that I went to the premiere with. This was like the after party. Paparazzi outside, bodyguards galore at the Bowery Hotel. We literally saw Madonna, Harry Styles was there, um, Olivia Wilde, I do believe, was there. Um, who else? Nick Kroll was there. Probably other people I just didn't see. It was like a really big venue and it was so swanky. We got, I got like a Cosmo, they got martinis. It was just such a special night. And now it's my birthday. <laughs> I am, I am totally a Harry Styles fan now. Like I'm going to admit it. Like something like in the last few months, his music, I get the hype now. I get it. He is so hot. I just had to do this fresh because I feel like in the morning I'll like not be as fresh to talk about it. So I'm going to take the makeup off. It pretty much stayed. We got to take pictures afterwards. They had like a step and repeat and stuff. The under came off a little bit, but the hair stayed intact. I was so dumb though doing an updo and then like sitting and watching a movie wasn't super comfortable, but you know, we did what we did. So yeah, I'm very thankful. Such a crazy cool experience. Literally step nuts. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys. I woke up 24. <laughs> I'm just having such a lovely morning. I've got a matching pajama set on. That's when I feel like my life is together. My apartment's super chilly. I'm on my new couch, I'm cozied up. I woke up to many sweet messages. <sighs> and I'm just thankful. I get like this every year on my birthday, but I am just so thankful for the people in my life, for the experiences in my life, just for everything in my life. I'm thankful for you guys. And right now I'm listening to the Don't Worry Darling soundtrack, not the score, but the soundtrack, like the songs that are featured in there. And I'm really enjoying myself right now. I don't really have plans today. I canceled training for today because I thought I might be tired from last night and I just kind of wanted to have a day to myself. Not really sure what I'm doing today though because now my day is like free. I think Brooke and I are gonna go get lunch, but also I'm just like really enjoying my time on this couch which is nice. My big comfy couch. I have a lot of emails and things I need to do that I've just kind of been putting off because of like fashion week and then my birthday weekend and then the premiere. So there's like definitely things I need to do today. And I mean, this past weekend was already so much fun celebrating, but Ryan planned something for us tonight. I'm really excited about it. He did end up telling me yes, or he did end up telling me a couple days ago what it was because he needed to get something from me for it. Um, but actually, on our first date, or no, our second date, he took me on a sunset picnic in Athens, and it was so special. And he, we haven't been on a picnic since, or maybe one other. But he, I have a picnic basket that he gave me for my birthday one year and he needed to come get it. So it kind of ruined this, not ruined the surprise. I am glad I know. So tonight he's taking me on a birthday picnic to the West Side Highway, I think. And I'm excited. That sounds so lovely. I golden out, like that just sounds so nice. So that's tonight's plan. But yeah, good morning. Bear. Oh my god, he's so cute. The little two. How do I do that? <laughs> to put it on speaker? I can't. Okay. Oh, call me again, honey, okay? <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> my grandma called me and said to call her again so she can go on speaker. I'm like, it's you just press the button. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Danielle. Aw, thank you, Granddad. That's so sweet. Such a good singer. 
I know. Oh, what I know. You know what? You haven't gotten a card from us. You got cookies, but that's it. My amazing manager just sent me these beautiful flowers. Like, how unique. This is so gorgeous. Thank you so much. And then my mom, I forgot if I showed you guys these last night. My mom sent me those. And then Brooke sent me those flowers the other day. I love all the flowers. I've moved to the L side of my couch. I've talked to my dad, my grandparents, my mom. Um, and I ordered myself my favorite bodega breakfast burrito that I just recently discovered. I've been trying to eat, like, healthier on the weekdays. And then on the weekends, kind of just eating what I want, like intuitively, um, but it's my birthday, so. <laughs> All bets are off. I also just decided, I texted Brooke, and I know Brooke was overwhelmed too, because we've just had like a really busy last week or so, and I was, I just, like, I loved the idea of going to lunch, because it's like, oh, to do something like on my birthday, but honestly, I've had such a lovely weekend of celebrating, and I'm going to dinner with Ryan tonight, and I just have so much to do that I texted her, I was like, do you care if we don't go to lunch? She was like, oh my gosh, of course not. I just wanted to do whatever you wanted to do, which was really, really sweet. So I think she's low key relieved, even though she was being really nice to like go to lunch with me, but I was like, it's just not necessary. And I don't really feel like getting ready. I'm really enjoying this, if you guys can't tell. So, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's sausage, egg, cheese, and potato. I am thriving. Birthday. Brooke's here. She looks way cuter than me right now. Well, your Danielle has been, I'm like, so many emails, everything. Like, She's I, relaxing today. Well, I did the email, I did some emails, but I was like, now I have to run errands after. No, I meant like, I'm oh, relaxing. Oh, yes, oh, no, you're true. not relaxing. Oh saying, my God, you're now on the go. On the errands. No, no, as you should be relaxing on your birthday. We are going to do lunch. Did you tell the vlog? Oh yeah, I told them. I was yeah. like, Brooke was so nice and was gonna, but like, let's be real, neither of us needed to be doing that right now, but it was just like, I felt like it, but you I've been. It feels like it, but you have Plans. Yes, evening plans. Yeah. But guys, <laughs> Brooke just brought my gift, which was so nice. I like forgot that we talked about that. And a live unboxing. Live I unboxing. actually haven't seen it, but you'll see. It might be a little different. Oh, mm -hmm. so last year for my birthday, Brooke got me um, Baccarat Rouge because like she was always wearing it, and I loved it. And she got it for me last year, and it's a full year later. I like drunkenly told her a few weeks ago. I was like, by the way, like when was it that? ran out. I don't know what it was after, but um, I'm so excited because it's gone, and like it's seriously such an amazing scent. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Thank oh, you. Do I God. do you want me to like open it? I, or? I think there should be something special on the bottle, but I, I don't. On the I, what? On, on the, the bottle? bottle. But I, I hope I did it correctly. Oh Hello, legs. Hello. I hope I, I hope I did it correctly because I'm like. Did, like oh, did you not want to look? No, know, I didn't want to open it because it's like plastic wrap. <laughs> so you know? awful. Wait, is it? Oh my gosh, let's see, is there something on this? Nope, there's nothing on it. It's so right. beautiful. Well, oh, there it is, there it is. I was like, there should be something. Oh my gosh, yeah, okay. guys, wait, that's so sweet. An upgrade from last yes, year. Yes, it's personalized. Dude, this is stunning. I, I wonder if like, when I run this out, like, I could just get it refilled, because this is so beautiful. You could order it directly from them? Yeah, well maybe I'll just get it for you again next year. It's a tradition. Oh, tradition, our Baccarat tradition. <laughs> gosh, this just... You can't really beat this scent. No, it's so good. Thank you so much. Of course, buddy. Uh, I thought it was cute with the little person. This is so beautiful. I got so nervous because I you were like, open uh, it first. You said, please let me tell please. me. Please. Tell me they did it correctly. Oh like, this box is so pretty too. Yes, wow. a great gift. My, have you just been receiving flowers all day? Yes. Look at you, showered with love. I know, showered with love. Who are, who are they from? Flowers are from my manager, my mom, and, oh, you. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> I just went down to the package room and I got some fun little goodies. So sweet. My, I have so many sweet treats. I have two cakes over there. And then my Aunt Debbie just sent me these beautiful macaroons. So thoughtful. I'm still in my PJs, thriving. Also, these pajamas are the best. They're so comfortable. They're from the brand Lunya, L-U-N-Y-A. I am not hungry, but I really want to try one of these. I'm gonna try birthday cake because I love anything birthday cake flavor. Fun fact about me. Um, so sweet, thank you, Aunt Debbie. Unclear how to eat this, hold please. Okay, cheers. I haven't had a macaroon since like high school. I used to be obsessed with macaroons.
Mmm, so good. Oh, and my grandma made me cookies and she sent them, so I have one of those too. Mmm. Thank you, Aunt Debbie. Love you. <laughs> All right, I also just got this in the mail. Cute little box with a bow. I don't know who it's from. Everyone was so timely with their deliveries. This is so sweet. Pajama gram. Happy birthday and sweet dreams. Love pops. My grandpa. Pajama gram. I've never heard of this, but that's so cute. I'm guessing it's pajamas. Oh my god, this is so soft. Oh my gosh. Oh. These are the best, the flare out pants. Might have to change into this later. Wait, this is like, is this cashmere? Like what is this? Off-white v-neck long sleeve plush stretch knit. Wow, he, my pops is high key a really great gift giver and so sweet, I need to call him right now. I'm also watching I Feel Pretty for like the seventh time. It's so good. And I'm drinking kombucha, and it's the one you have to be 21 and up. So crazy, my dad got it for me when he was here. Um, like when he went grocery shopping for me. Um, like, I don't get tipsy off of it or anything. I, I don't know why you have to be 21 for this one, but it's really good. I'm like, don't get it on the new couch, Danielle. I'm just so happy today. I am so happy. And Ryan called me about our picnic. He's like getting groceries for it right now on his lunch break, which is so sweet. Like, he has been so busy with work and I'm just so thankful that he planned a really nice night. And I'm kind of excited not to have to get like all dressed up for another dinner or something like that. It's like chill, West Side Highway vibes. I'm gonna bring some rose and I pulled out a blanket too. He has like his Georgia blanket and I was like, I have like a cute picnic one, you know? So yeah, wow, feeling grateful. We have more flowers, you guys. These are stunning. Oh my god. They're from Plant Shed. Oh my god. Oh, it's from Margo Ashri. A little autumnal bouquet for you, our autumnal queen. Happy, happy birthday, Danielle. Love you so much, and I'm so glad you're in my life. Oh my god. So not needed. So like, guys, I have so many flowers. And I'm not mad. Like, I literally love flowers. Wow. Ugh. Wow, I'm glad I've been home all day, my god. This is so beautiful. You would think I like just got engaged or something. Oh my god. I have to like put these all around my apartment. All right, we have miraculously gotten ready. I blow dried my hair super fast. I think I put too much like um, hair oil in it. Now it's just feeling weird. So I literally am wearing my sunglasses as a headband. I do this all the time. And then I'll use them when we get there. But it's time for my picnic with Ryan. I'll show you guys my outfit. It looks kind of weird in this angle. I'm wearing this romper from Show Me Your Moo Moo. I'm obsessed with it. It's from, I think it's one of their newer arrivals. But it's just like a chambray denim romper. I just want to be comfy and like kind of have some sleeves. So it gives me like no form, but it's comfy and it's cute. I thought it was perfect for a little picnic. I put on some makeup. My hair is really just doing nothing for me right now. That's okay. And then my shoes, my sneakers. And then I'm bringing a tote bag with some wine, some cups, blanket, and then Ryan has the rest. I'm excited to see what he picked out. I also just posted on my story. Like I said it kind of last night. Maybe I need to do a side part tonight for some more volume. Um, I'm just like, I feel like people can change their minds and I've really changed my mind about Harry Styles. Like in the last few months, whenever his new album came out, Harry's House, like I was just listening to it while I was getting ready. Like I know every song. Like it's just like, it, it's really just been such a vibe. I really, really enjoy his music. And I like used to not be the biggest fan of Harry. I just kind of like didn't understand it. And now like the more and more I'm learning about him and then after obviously seeing the movie last night and been listening to his music for the last, I don't know, four or five months. I'm like, ugh, I wanna go to his concert, so I posted on his story, like, I, cause I know he's doing the MSG, and I knew he had one tomorrow, but I didn't realize tomorrow night's his last one, and I'm like, this could be my last chance. Like, he's, I, so many of my friends have gone and said it's so special, and I just think it would be really, really cool to see him perform. 
Like, I think that would be really cool. So I'm like, should I bite the bullet and get a ticket? I don't know. I just want to see what it's all about, you know? And he's so talented. Um, so, anyways, that's where I'm at right now. But I haven't made any moves on it. Anyways, I'm going to head out. My hair is just not what I wanted it to be. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we made it. Ryan brought flowers and a beautiful basket. We're at the West Side Highway. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to do this. We just need to get set up now. Got the blanket. Hi, I'm so sorry to bother you. I'm listening to your podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry. I feel like I like somebody's name. I mean, a lot. Seriously. Bye bye. That was so cute. What a little setup we've got here. And Ryan got us these ginormous Italian sandwiches that I'm so excited to dig into. Ah. Guys, we're getting a little nervous. All the ducks are slowly coming towards us. I don't want to have to run them off, but like, it's gonna have to happen soon. Cause, I just guard the cheese. Guard the cheese. Ah, I'm nervous. Ooh. Wow, they like barely <laughs> <laughs> Heard those duck Ryan. <laughs> That's my farmer. <laughs> farmer Ryan. Yeah, heard birds. They weren't even scared of no, you. That's not. hysterical. <laughs> oh my god. These are from these sandwiches Ryan got are from Faico, F-A-I-C-C-O in Lake West Village. Super Italian. Super Italian. I'm excited to open by. got home from Ryan's. I went there for a little bit and we watched The Bachelor. He doesn't usually watch Bachelor with me, but I didn't have to beg him. I said, can we watch The Bachelor? And he said, yes. I think because it's my birthday. I love that. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys what he got me because I thought it was really, really sweet. He got me the flowers. Guys, there were so many flowers in this apartment. It was such a thoughtful gift. And like, I love gifts where it's just like a ton of cute little things. So, first thing he got me is this candle. It sounds like he like went to a ton of different shops, which is not like Ryan. He's very like, go into one store, get it out, because he doesn't like to shop. But it sounds like he like, walked around Soho and West Village a little and like, bought different things, which I think is really cute. This is from Candle New York City, NYC. NYC. It's a soy candle and it's in the scent, beachy petals. Oh my God, I was literally about to show you guys. It smells so good. He's like, so it can remind you of Florida. And then what else, what else? This I was impressed with. Who told him to go to studs? Like that's iconic, I love studs earrings. He got me some heart, some gold heart earrings for my um, third piercing when I can put them in. Which I also thought was really sweet and like that he remembered that I got my, well he remembers that I got my ears pierced but it was just like, you know, guys sometimes. And then he got me a pair of really cool socks. He told me the story behind this was he went to this cool store in like Lower East Side and he asked them if they had like sweat sets, which also was impressed that he pays attention that I love sweat sets. The only sweatsuit they had, he was like, it just wasn't your style. And I was like, okay, wow. So he still wanted to get me something from the store. It's from the brand Only NY. And they're really cool socks. They're like a light tan color. So I'll wear them for like my fall fits. And then this is where he got me. He got me this just like a little box to put on a shelf. I literally started crying cause like I love a sentimental gift and he knows that. And he printed out, I think he said it was 65 photos of us and like wrote on the back like, KD Mai Tai, March 8th, 2019. Tampa trip, March 14th, 2019. Oh, this is such a cute photo. And we literally went through everyone. Our first formal, the Katie formal. Us at the Braves. I feel like I'm literally like showing you guys baby photos, but it was just like, there's literally so many photos of us. Like, I don't know. It, it really just tore at my heartstrings. And like, this is a New York photo. I'm just like thinking about him sitting there going through photos. This is one of my favorite photos of us. This was like us both like in tears when, um, Georgia beat Bama the national championship when we went to that. It was like such a happy moment. Um, I just like forgot about some of these photos. Like us, the the fat man red carpet. So it was just very, very sweet. 
And like, this is like just like a little selfie we took. You guys do not care, but whatever. Like, I don't even know where this is, but just like a little wholesome Snapchat that he saved when we took it. So that was very, very sweet. And I will treasure this box and go through it when I'm in the mood to be cutesy. And then I got my Uber on the way back from Ryan's apartment and it was this really cool Tesla. It was one of those Teslas where like the door comes up and I was like, this is awesome. And then I got in and he was like, how's your day? And I was like, yeah, it's my birthday. And he was like, oh my God, well, who's your favorite artist? And I said, Drake. And he was like, we're blasting Drake for this ride. And like, he was just, be he was like, for you birthday girl. He was just being so nice. So it's just been a lovely day. And then, okay. I got a box from the brand Fresh Scents, which I do believe is more flowers. Like I really do believe that they send flowers. So I'm curious who sent these flowers. Oh my God, there's flowers. Okay, let me read the letter first. Oh my God. Happy birthday, Danielle. We hope you had the best weekend celebrating and all that all your wishes come true. XOXO, Kareen and the Revolve family. That's really sweet. Revolve? Oh my god. These flowers are gorgeous if I can get them out. Oh my god. Guys, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these flowers, but these are so beautiful. And then Ryan got me these. And then Margot Austria, oh my god. I'm so thankful. These are the most flowers I've ever had in my apartment at one time and I'm not mad about it. Um. So yeah, I am going Finish watching Bachelorette, wash my face. I have to get my thumbnail and stuff and do something for girls on the go, and then I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you guys all for your love and all your birthday wishes, and I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm just picking out my workout outfit for the day. What's the temperature outside? 71, but like a high of 80. That's insane. The weather's so confusing. Um, it's Wednesday, which is always fun because I post a new vlog and we also post Gals on the Go. Um, and I do all the promo for that, all the Instagram, all the TikTok, stuff like that. So Wednesday mornings, I'm like plugging away. But um, just picking out my workout outfit. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I had that, I had some other stuff to do. I have stuff I still need to do and I try to get it all done before I go to the gym because also Brooke and I are recording the podcast today because she's going out of town next week. So we're recording two episodes. I'm like texting with the realtor that represents my new apartment because there was like a little hiccup this morning. Nothing with what I did, but the like condo board that needs to approve me was like, something's missing. And I freaked out. I was like, no, no, no. I, I'm a triple Virgo, my big three fall Virgo. I made sure everything was good. I made sure with the owner, I made sure with the realtor, like we were set. And so I'm like, uh -huh, uh -huh, because basically this could push back when I get approved. You know how frustrating it is when people say, when are you moving? And I say, I don't know. Like, I literally don't know. I need to be out of this apartment by September 30th. And that would be so ideal. I feel so bad because roadway moving is being so kind and moving me. And they're like waiting for me to tell them when I can move. And I just simply don't know. And I obviously don't want to tell them a day before because well, it won't happen. So lots of moving pieces, moving pieces, haha. <laughs> um, but I just found out that the thing they said was missing is not applicable and it's like incorrect. So everything's in. So I'm like, okay, let's review my thing then. It's basically like I've already been approved, but the condo board management thing needs to like approve me. Like it's just a formality. Like I'm gonna get the condo, but this is just a whole thing. And I, I'm learning a lot from this process. So I would just like to know when I'm moving because I'm also like traveling like October 7th through the 9th. So I'm like, ideally I would move before that because otherwise I have to put my stuff in storage. Blah. It's out of my hands. It's literally out of my hands. I've done everything I can and now I just have to hope and pray that they saw my email about how I do need to move out before September 30th and they do take that into accountability because this condo has been a v vacant for a month. Like this needs to 
Anyways, I love this apartment too though. I'm gonna miss it, but like I need to like, I need to go. Like this couch is eating my living room alive. <laughs> Anyways, let's get dressed and go work out. Happy Wednesday. Okay, going to work out with my trainer, Jane. Here is today's set, or it's not a set, but you know. Top is from Story, with an eye. Biker shorts are Spanx, I love them. Sneakers are APL, they're flat footed, so I guess it's, Jane told me to get flat footed sneakers for like working out or like for doing the weight training whatever it's good to have flat feet and then i have a super huge tote bag because the goal is to stop by whole foods on the way back i'm a whole foods girly now my dad just showed me a ton of great things that i can get at the grocery store that i'm really into uh, i'm like obsessed with cauliflower thins so that's on the list and just need some more stuff so i think i'm gonna make my grocery list in the car also like i said we're recording two episodes of gals on the go podcast today two amazing like topic themes but i just need to plan a couple more things for that and then like when i'm done working out we'll go to the jit we'll go to the whole foods then i'll come back shower and get ready pretty fast so get on the go All my workout felt amazing and it was just good to sweat again and then I stopped at Whole Foods like I was telling you guys I literally didn't clean up my <laughs> breakfast I'm gonna do a quick little haul for you guys got more eggs of course I my dad got the avocado cucumber roll for me when I was here last week and it was really good so I thought I'd get that I'm now obsessed with cauliflower thin so I got Two of the cauliflower pizza crust. I'm gonna make pizza maybe for me and Ryan one night. And then I got a few of the cauliflower sandwich thins. I ate that with like avocado and turkey and tomato. Oh my gosh, it was so good and so filling. More blueberries, some green beans to cook on my pan. And then I got more arugula because I'm into the arugula tomato mozzarella combo. And then I got more mozzarella to do the pizza. I got some chicken, hopefully do like a chicken dish. More bananas, bananas are a great snack. They don't sell Ithaca hummus at Whole Foods, so I'm gonna try this, but it's lemon hummus, and I think that's why I like the Ithaca hummus so much, because it has like a lemon in it. Um, so hopefully that's what that's all about. This cauliflower new chick on the block. It's chicken, but it's like breaded with cauliflower, I think. It's really good. That's what I used to put on top of my arugula salad. Phone's about to, or camera's about to die. More turkey. I'm in my turkey era. And then I got two of these kombuchas and more cantaloupe. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, we are ready. I just was trying on these new sunglasses I got from Lay Spec. Because I have so many great black sunglasses, but I didn't have any... I have one pair of brown sunglasses. They're like the orange tinted ones. These actually you like can't see your eyes, which I like so I can people watch. These are from my spec. I'll link them down below. I really like this cat eye. I was just trying them on. I think I'm gonna wear them today. I think they look good with my face. I don't really know. Um, I got a couple things in the mail from Skims. So I'm gonna wear one of them to record. You guys know how much I love their lounge dress. I just have the black um, tank dress. It's just so good. It's so comfortable, like would travel in it, have traveled in it. So I know Kenzie has the pink one and I was like, I need it. Like the long sleeve version since it's about to get cold outside. So I'm gonna wear this because the first episode we're recording for Gals and Lego today is girl talk themed. We like to do these every now and then. We have a couple topics that we wanna talk about. So I thought pink was like girl talk. Um, and then I also, and then I'm gonna wear this for the second episode, the thing I wore last night. Got some undies from Skims, and then I literally got this dress in black and gray as well. I think it'll be really, really good for fall time, and even winter. You could like wear tall boots underneath if you want extra warmth, but yeah. I just found out, well, I just got invited to go to the Harry Styles concert tonight. Tonight is his last night at Madison Square Garden. I think it's his 15th show. 
actually insane. He's a powerhouse. I'm very, very impressed. I went to the Don't Worry Darling premiere, which I'm obviously so thankful. I know there are so many people out there who would literally die to be in the position I'm in and also to be invited to the show tonight. Like, I can't tell you how much I understand that and I wish I could bring all of you with me. Milk Makeup saw my story yesterday. I was talking about how, you know, I grew up a Justin Bieber fan and I just kind of never really understood the Harry Styles hype. And then in the last like six months, I'd say, when his new album came out, I was just obsessed with it. I was listening to it all the time. It was also in the summer I turned pretty soundtrack and I was like, oh, it's here too. I'm obviously gonna go tonight because literally yesterday I texted my friend Seb, I was like, should we like get tickets to go to Harry Styles tomorrow? It just feels like this is an iconic moment. I've heard such great things about his shows. They seem so special. I think it's so cool everyone gets dressed up. I, the more I just thought about it, I was like, the more I wanted to go. But she, she was kind of just like, I don't really know if I want to do that, whatever. I said, okay. Then get this message from Milk. And they actually just sent me like a little package too um, that they have seats tonight and they had a couple extra and invited me so i'm very very grateful to milk makeup and i feel like people are allowed to change their mind on like who they want to watch and who they want to see and you know i i'll admit i'm now into harry styles and i'm here to say that and i think that's okay um so i'm really really thankful i'm so excited i'm like what do i wear this is a whole thing i'm really really excited to just honestly see all this firsthand and i like looked up the set list and i knew like 75 percent of the song so i was like okay danielle not saying i'm like i'm literally a bandwagon fan milk makeup sent along some goodies to use tonight before i go which is really great i like have some of these already because i'm obsessed this stuff is so good the kush clear brow gel incredible oh i haven't tried this the jump color chalk very cool their hydro line is incredible this is the grip eye primer and then this is the grip set and refresh spray this will keep my makeup going all night long so i am so grateful to milk thank you guys so much i again i completely realize that i'm so privileged to be in this position but I feel like if you guys, like, if anyone was asked for, invited to this, they'd be like, wait, obviously, yes. Like, I'm so grateful. Um, and yeah, I think some of, I might see some of my friends there. So that'll be really, really fun. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead to record with Brooke. Lots of talking to do. And then we'll get ready later. So, yeah. Okay, guys, we just recorded the first episode. What Girl nice. talk. And now we're just having a little downtime. <laughs> downtime down to Abin, Abby. And now we just changed. I'm like obsessed with her raw hair. It's yeah, so thank cute. You. It's like a two-piecer. We're both wearing raw hairs right now. I show love yours. Moo -moo show me your moo, -moo. Yes. I saw you wore yesterday. Yes, okay. I did. You remembered. So yeah, now we're gonna do an episode all about our beauty routines. It was Brooke's idea and I love it. Like post shower, like what are your favorite products that you use to like get ready, like hair, makeup, skincare, whatever it may be. So we're gonna get to recording that now. Ooh. All right, so I was pretty dead after recording. So I just sat on my couch, my new favorite <laughs> happy space, and it literally cleared my whole email inbox and it felt so good and relaxed a little bit. Kept my makeup on from earlier kind of like touched it up i added um like a little bit more eyeshadow i don't really know if it's that good but anyways i'm gonna be late i'm meeting davis he's also going davis bros and i just found out um with milk so we're gonna meet a couple blocks outside of msg so we can like go in together but yeah i'm really excited and again i'm really sorry to any harry fans that i've ended because he's great and i'm excited now um okay here is the look of the night. I got approved from some of my friends that are Harry fans, and I saw that MSG might be providing boas tonight for people, which is really cool. Um, I wasn't planning on wearing a boa, but if they have them there, that'd be so fun. I just like didn't have time, and I thought my um, dress was like perfect for it. So this dress is from Revolve, I'll link it below. It's so fun, and then I thought the sleeves were great, and then I just felt like white cowboy boots made sense tonight. I don't know why, it just felt right. These two things don't really go together, but they just feel right. And then my bag, just doing my white bag. And hair was just annoying me, so we did a little pony. And yeah, we're gonna head over. I'm really excited. I'm so thankful again. Like, this is gonna be a really cool experience, and I can't wait to take you guys along. We're right, here with Davis. We're going. We're I'm going. So excited. This is his fit, it's iconic. 
We're doing I like it look up. very hairy, like with the thick yes, collar. Yes, I think it's giving hairy, so I think you Am nailed it. Am I Adidas? It. Look at my Adidas. He wears these Adidas like every day. Ooh! And very hairy. Very I like hairy. him with the pants, so we're gonna have a time. Let's go! just love this couch oh my gosh this is just so great for vlogging so I got back last night and I was gonna vlog and my camera kept making it like super red and I was like okay whatever I'm tired anyways I'll go to bed but I wanted to talk about last night it was so special like I'm seriously so grateful to have been there to have witnessed it and I wish I could have had you all there with me because it was everyone in the room was just in such a good mood people were jumping up and down Olivia Wilde was there you guys dancing away <coughs> crazy um and milk makeup they are just an amazing team and everyone was so sweet Davis and I had a blast dancing oh my gosh he did what makes you beautiful too which was kind of fun and I only didn't know like two songs which I was surprised about so it was really fun. And then at the end, um, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting her name, but I do believe she's from Good Morning America, came out and um, presented Harry with a banner that says um, 15 nights, 15 consecutive nights at um, the garden. And it says his name. Because there was one right above us that said Billy Joel, like 129 concerts of his lifetime or something. So Harry Styles is going to have one in the garden too. And he was just... So thankful, and that's what I wanted to say. I just thought it was really, really great how, I mean, throughout the show, he just said thank you so many times. Like, he would stop, he would talk to fans, he would read everyone's signs that they were holding up, and, like, I remember going to Justin Bieber concerts growing up. Like, he'd, like, read maybe a few, but, like, I've never been to a concert where, like, he's just really engaging with the audience, and it was just making everyone's lives. So, it was very sweet. It was a really fun time. I'm so glad I got to go, and I'm glad I went. And I've just been enjoying a chill morning. <coughs> Today's Ryan's birthday, actually. I called him at midnight last night. And um, he's at work right now. But tonight, I am so excited. I'm going to another concert. I'm literally probably going to wear my white cowboy boots again. Because tonight's a country concert. I'm so freaking pumped. Like, oh my god. We are going to John Party. And I'm a big John Party fan. He came out on stage for a little bit at Stagecoach. And I freaked out. John Party is just like, he his music is the heart of Ryan and I's relationship, like, very early on in our relationship, like, Ryan kind of got me into country music, like, I always liked it, but I never really knew the words or anything, and he would always play it, um, and John Party, I remember he showed me the Heartache on the Dance Floor song, which is one of his most popular songs, and, um, I remember, he was like, it just reminds me of you, because you love to dance and everything, and whatever and then ever since then like we just always like sing it from the top of our lungs together and then also the song beer can't fix is another song that him and i i remember like dancing to in new orleans together like that specific memory 
um, and just like all of John Party songs. Like I'm, I'm that girl that looks up the set list to make sure I know all the songs, <laughs> and I did. So or no, there's like two songs that I don't think I really know. Um, not that that matters, but like you know, then you have more fun, obviously. And I am so excited. And then my friend Sabrina, who works for a country radio station here in the city. She, I think, saw my vlog or something talking about how I was taking Ryan to John Party tonight for his birthday, and she got us meet and greet passes. So we're meeting John Party. What a week we're having, you guys. What a week. This is not my everyday week. This is insanity. Ryan is so excited. I'm so excited. He's getting off work early today. Let's go so we can go meet John Party. And it's actually at Pier 17, the concert, which is at Seaport and Fideye. Like, such a beautiful venue. I went to um, Mont. Mount Joy last year there and it's so pretty so hopefully we'll be able to get dinner and drinks like in between the meet and greet and the concert so yeah that's tonight but today what time is it I it's only 10 30 I like still have some time I'm gonna do a deep clean of my apartment I just did my dishes and like refilled my supplements took my supplements made breakfast ate breakfast um and I also did a little reading this morning tell me lies I'm reading it it's so hard not to watch it on I think it's on Hulu yeah but I'm trying to get through it because I'm really enjoying the book and I, it's so it's so much fun when you read a book and then it's a show. And I also just found out the new episode of Kardashians came out so I'm like oof. But like I need to be strapped in to watch that. I can't be like cleaning. Like I want to be focused so I don't know. But I think priority is cleaning my apartment as I always do. Just kind of set myself up for success for the rest of the week and because it's Thursday and tomorrow Ryan's best friend is surprising him for the weekend. I don't know if I already said that so it's gonna be boys weekend and I just already know that for myself. Um, yeah. Oh, I also just found out that my current apartment is going to extend my lease. Like I'm gonna get to pay up per DM if for some reason my new apartment I can't move in until after September 30th. So that's huge for the program. So God bless, I wanted to put my stuff in storage. So it's a great morning. Good morning. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm wrapping Ryan's birthday gift. Well, one of his gifts was obviously the John Party concert tickets, but then also I got him his own pair of Costa sunglasses. You guys might not know these, but they're like Costa Del Mar. They're fishing lenses, and I realized I got these for him, and it's like not summer anymore, but <clears throat> I'm sure we'll go to Florida again, and he always like borrows my brother's, and these are just super nice fishing sunglasses, and Freddie has like the wraparound ones, um, which I'm not crazy about, um, so I asked Freddie, like, what are, like, a cooler pair, and Freddie helped me out with these. So these are, like, you know, semi, like, stay on your face, but, like, a little bit more stylish. The green lens is better for inshore fishing, like, salt water. Um, so I think Ryan's gonna be really excited. And Ryan's kind of, like, he loses things. So I got him the, which was super inexpensive, a Costa. I used to have these when I was, like, my preppy era, um, croquis. So I got him this pair, and then I also got him, like, a, like, a more slim pair. So... I think he's gonna be really excited. He's always wanted a pair of Costas, and I was trying to think of what to get him, so I'm excited. I'm just wrapping it up right now. Okay, oh, my camera's doing the pinky thing again. It's not that bad right now, though. I just finished getting ready, going to, oh my god, it's getting redder. What's happening? Going to lunch with Brooke, Katie, and the Show Me Your Moo Moo gals there in town, and they wanted to take us to lunch, which I think is so sweet. Love Show Me Your Moo Moo. I'm wearing Show Me Your Moo Moo right now. I've been wearing that denim romper all week. Love Moo Moo. I've recently loved them because they're on Fashion Pass too. So I started like getting Show Me Your Moo Moo stuff on there, which I think kind of like re-sparked my love for them. Anyways, I did have to shout out, not sponsored literally at all, but I just used the Milk Makeup. It's the new, oh my gosh, I wanna get the words right. Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. This stuff is incredible. I don't have any foundation on. It. Literally a little goes such a long way. I used it under my eyes. It completely like erased my dark circles And then I used it right here around my nose on my chin Blended it out and then I used the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter thing And my skin looks like this so I'm just very impressed and I have to tell you guys but I am obsessed with my outfit We're doing fall vibes today um, I'm loving my new fall sunglasses, too. I mean come on I'm obsessed. I love it. I'm officially excited for fall. It's not. Oh, 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 oh. Guys, it is pouring rain outside. This is new info. I don't know if you. Okay, I need to grab an umbrella. Glad I looked outside. 
Um, I'm glad my hair is up and I don't have my hair done. Sunglasses, lace specs, I will link them below. Dress is Show Me Your Moo Moo. I love it, I got a size medium. It's the perfect size shift dress on me. I love it, the pockets, it's like a sweater material. Perfect for like summer to fall transition. My boots I got last year from Zara. I hope you guys can find them or something like it because they are so comfortable and they go with so much. I'm just really into different neutral tones outfits. And then bag is rented from Vivrell. So, and then earrings my aunt gave me for my birthday. They were hers. And then these earrings are cupcakes and cashmere and these are Adina's, Adina Eden. And hair clip is Monday swimwear. So I'm about to go to lunch. We're going to the Dutch in Soho, which is really good. Wow, it is pouring. And I have to switch my laundry to the dryer. Oh, oh my god, so I'm just taking a little vlog clip. So funny. <laughs> Just got back from lunch. It was so much fun. The Show Me and Mimi team, they're all so, so sweet, so fun. The food was delicious. And then me, Brooke, and Katie actually decided to walk back all together. Um, but while we were at lunch, you guys, I got an email and a text that I have been approved to move in. My lease literally starts in my new apartment on Monday. So I'm like, okay, I was listening that lunch, like the Virgo in my head was like, okay, like, what needs to happen so i'm literally about to make so many phone calls i'm gonna call my moving company see the soonest they can move me i'm not trying to move monday i don't think um but i'm also like oh my god it's sad like but also excited <laughs> um but anyways yeah like brooke and i were just walking back together because we live pretty close and i was like wait this might be our last time walking back together now because brooke's going to florida tomorrow for a week and there's a chance I might be moved by the time she gets back. I don't really know. And I think my mom, I like can't do moves alone, okay? I'm a baby. My mom offered, my fam, my parents are also the sweetest people ever. My mom offered to come up for like just a couple nights to kind of just help me get settled, which is really nice. Cause living alone, like if you had a roommate, you could like do things with, or if you have a few roommates, it's easier, but it's just nice to have someone else. And um, all my friends are like super busy right now. Ryan's so crazy with work. Like obviously he's gonna help, but like, you know, anyway, so. I need to call moving company, I need to call Wi-Fi people. There's just so much that needs to be done. And yeah, so I think I might shower because we've got concert later, but I want to wash my hair because I think the rain's finally going to be gone in a little bit. So I want to like, like if it was going to still rain, I would just keep my hair up for the night, but I want my hair down, you know, country shake my hair. Um, but yeah, lots to do. I'm so happy. It's so nice to finally know that I'm approved. It actually was a lot faster than they said it would be. We did it. We did it. All right, we are ready for the concert. I just made a TikTok like super fast with a ton of different outfit options. So go follow me on TikTok. So I want to start infusing more um, clothing things um, on my TikTok, like fashion and stuff, because I'm really, I'm passionate for fashion. Um, but I ultimately decided this outfit is what pretty much all of you voted. I had this really cute pink dress, but this is just way more comfy to dance, and the other one was a little bit tighter. This is from Revolve. Um, I will link it below. It's literally the best thing. I've worn it a few times now. And then I just um, blew out my hair. And then my boots are the same ones from last night. I will link them below. And if I don't link, please remind me. But I'm going to link. But anyways, I've had a very productive few hours. Um, Ryan's on his way here. It's, like I said, today's his birthday. Once he gets here, we're basically immediately going to Seaport and we're meeting John Party. And then after we meet him, we're gonna like get some food and drink and then the concert. So excited. Um, but I got all of my moving squared away. I don't know how it all happened. Like, thank God I found out like a few hours before 5 p.m. when everyone's like stops working. I'm now moving next Thursday, a week from today, which is perfect. My mom, sweet angel, is gonna fly in Wednesday night. So she's here. Um, I'm using roadway moving. I am, what else am I doing? They're actually packing it, which is amazing. And then, um, moving it all on the same day so that Friday to Sunday because next weekend I literally have no plans so it's perfect Thursday we move and then throughout the weekend I can just unpack and like prep it all with my mom which will be so nice um so yeah that's a perfect plan and yeah I'm glad that's that's squared away all right
Hey guys. <laughs> Last night was so much fun. You know, it was so much fun. Like, I feel like I didn't take a lot of videos, like, at the concert because I was just having so much fun. Like, I love John Party's music so much. He was so nice when Ryan and I met him. The night was so fun. I was able to find all of my friends that were there. None of them really knew each other, but I brought them all together. Um, and we all danced together. It was so fun. They had Cosmos at this bar up there. And I kept drinking them. And now I'm, like, not my best self. And I have to go work out. It's 8.30 right now. I have to be working out in about an hour at 9.30. So I'm working through that right now, but it was so much fun and Ryan had a great birthday We came back and ate pizza and I gave him his gift and he loved it. So uh, I'm gonna end the vlog here cuz I've got to get ready and then this weekend Ryan's bestie is surprising him so Lots to do but Love you guys so much and I'll see you next time Oh, 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 oh,